this crossing has been where it is now since 1806. This used to be a, 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 an embankment that uh, the old horse and buggy carts could drive over. Then after that, they, they cut the top of that embankment off and, because they wanted to reconnect the lake and they put an old bridge uh, in its place. And they did that to kind of make it faster to go to Boston from Worcester. Before that, it took two days. And this is the third structure, I think, or the fourth structure that, at this crossing. So in the beginning of this project, because it started you know, a decade ago, when they started having you know, kind of preliminary meetings with the public and saying, hey, we're thinking about doing this, we've got to replace the old bridge, and you know, here's what we're thinking about. The existing bridge uh, was estimated to have a, a five-year lifespan left. When, when we started on basically a three and a half year project. So it, there was some sense of urgency to that this project uh, get off the ground and get underway and get built and get traffic on it uh, because the old bridge was uh, going to be unsafe uh, very quickly. They did not want this bridge to be a cookie cutter bridge like so many of the bridges are. This was such a, uh, uh, High profile location, they wanted a signature bridge. They wanted, they wanted something that uh, uh, accentuated the, the beautiful scenery of the lake. The old concrete bridge from 1916 had these concrete arches and that was one of the elements that they wanted to make sure was carried on into the new design that the, the, the bridge and the, the graceful shapes that people around here had grown up with and we're used to and, and appreciated that those same arches would be part of the new modern design. There were three years of construction challenges and uh, uh, they were overcome. Uh, we, we dealt with some issues unanticipated problems and we put the smart people together and solved all the problems and uh, kept on schedule. Because of the communication, because of the, uh, the, 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 you know, the forethought that these guys, and the afterthought a lot of times, that so how can we do things better, uh, it, it went really smoothly. It was incredible. It, it almost sounds fake. The bridge evolved. The design initially had a lot of public input. It had multiple concepts. They did a fantastic job with communication with the public uh, and, and also including people. Originally in the design, those bump outs with those uh, plaques on them, that was a citizen suggestion. So they really, the, the citizens of the area really felt included because they saw their ideas being brought into the design and actually into the construction. This was the final one that was selected. We can all agree it's fairly elegant looking. There was a, a great effort to do the right thing for the project. So having that humility and having that perspective, it's really the only reason it went as well as it did. The bridge is a landmark, but it's not like a big gawky thing that's taken up the whole space. It blends right in with the scenery, it's gorgeous. I mean, this, this bridge now is one of only two in the state, I believe, that has the aesthetic lights on it like that. The Zakem's the other one, so uh, it's pretty cool to be a part of something that, you know, puts that in. The, the state can control the colors of the lights and do all kinds of programs and everything with it. We feel that uh, by the time the job was over, I think, most people around here were surprised at how little of an impact it was on the public. Um, and they, they appreciate it. I'm Pam Kraus, and I'm Ken Burns' granddaughter. He was the coach for Shrewsbury High School from 1937 to 1982. He was the chief of police in town. Uh, he was a commissioner of fish and game for the state, and they built the bridge in his honor after he passed away in 1982. I think that people are very happy that, that it stayed in his name and you know, that they can you know, remember him. Yeah.